Now here's our fourth installment of trying to look up different product commission rates for each sales rep. Now here's our report, and in each row we have a single condition. Notice for Joe, over in the lookup table, he has four different products and four different commission rates. So rather than doing the two-way lookup to get the correct commission rate here, what we would normally do is add an extra helper column. And then we have our two conditions, Sue quad, Tina quad, look up the correct commission rate, and then multiply it by the sales. But we want a single cell formula here, so we'll simulate that helper column right in the cell. Well, XLOOKUP has no problem with two lookup value lookup. We're going to highlight the sales rep column, Control Shift Down Arrow F4, and we're going to join it to product, Control Shift Down Arrow F4. What we've done is we've created a column, if I F9, of single lookup values created from two lookup values. Control Z, comma, lookup array. Well, in the lookup table, Control Shift Down Arrow F4, we have to join that to get a single column. So now we have a single column, F9, that we can try and get a match for our lookup table. Control Z, comma, return array. It's all of these commission rates, F4. Now, if I close parentheses and hit Enter, all that did is simulate the helper column that we would have had next to the table. In the top cell, I'm going to multiply all of that by sales. Control Shift Down Arrow, F4. If I enter and spill that, those are the actual commission amounts for each row in the sales table. Now we simply have to pick out the ones for Joe, and then the ones for Sue, and so on. So F2. We're going to use multiplication in parentheses. We'll highlight the entire sales rep column, Control Shift Down Arrow F4. And we're going to ask the question, are any of you equal to Joe as a relative cell reference? Now if I spill this, I'm going to get a bunch of zeros, except for the rows that have Joe. So now all I need to do is add these, F2, sum, at the end close parentheses, Control Enter, double click and send it down. In the last cell, I'll hit F2. And sure enough, all the references are pointing to the correct location. All right, the old school method. The end part is the same, but instead of using XLOOKUP and joining the columns, we used INDEX and MATCH. Now, that was a lot of fun with looking up different product commission rates for each sales rep and creating this report. And in each one of the videos, we had a different data setup and therefore a different fun solution. All right, we'll see you next Excel magic trick.